what's up guys it's fish here and welcome back to the next installment of my ultimate general civil war campaign as the union when we last left off we were fighting some smaller battles around the battle of gaines mill trying to clean up the road to richmond and you know start the battle obviously of gaines mill which i'm super excited to fight until we do fight that though however we do have another battle to commence at our army represent is uh, prepared for an offensive operation in virginian territory you've been assigned with advancing ahead and securing a safe passage for our reinforcements that move uh, that will move northwest our scouts report that a significant rebel force under the general brags has been deployed on a hill we need to seize uh, that strategic position and eliminate the rebel threat two ironclads will support your advance so it's good we have ironclad support however when we were looking at it last episode we noticed that they have an absolute ton of soldiers oh i didn't actually mention as well i upgraded a few of my forces we'll go back and look at that but yeah they have twenty thousand soldiers and we have seventeen and a half thousand and they have better you know positions than we do so it's going to be very very difficult indeed extremely difficult i might actually upgrade a few of these leaders as well just to help out we, ha oh, we don't even have enough money because i spent it all so basically i upgraded all of the first core to having harper ferry rifles this will give them really good you know musket range uh, and efficiency and reloading uh, than they, they had before i gave that to a 20th main and the 59th new yorker 30 third bucks are keeping with their melee rifle because that's kind of what they're specially assigned for then everyone else got the springfield the upgraded springfield m1855s the whole of second got that which is nice and then as we go down uh, the, the whole of third got kind of got the leftover lorenzes which are down here and then a few of these guys have uh, a few upgraded units there so basically i spent all my money we do also have uh, some of second as well down here but they they just basically have the whole of the, the previous upgrades as well as that i got 20 cannons on the napoleonic uh, ones and then I also just kept the, the, these ones as normal so let's jump into the battle I'm super excited to fight this one I think this might be our first defeat if I'm honest because looking at the battlefield yeah if we look at the battlefield we can like advance on them but not very well if i'm honest like it's going to be a very difficult battle uh, the operation in virginia commences for our army we have landed a portion of our core divisions into enemy soil and started securing the land from the union for the union i should say general bragg's corps is waiting for us on top of the hill and harassed our forces we cannot advance if we do not repel them so is waiting for us on the hill at the top and harasses our forces we cannot advance if we do not repel them I was wondering if that means like they're going to attack us. With the artillery support of our ironclad, it should be fairly easy to force the Confederates away from the hill. But General, be very cautious of an advance direct frontal assault of on the high ground will affect in heavy losses. Okay, cool. And that's something we can't really afford. So let's literally get rid of everyone and then form form up. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to get rid of the General. Don't want the General to, to not be there. So how do we want to play this? We'll get rid of the cavalry as well and the cannons we just have the supplies there so first division if we look at the map battle map because one of the things i absolutely love about this game is how important the terrain is the most obvious advance may not be the best one which a lot of games kind of just be like oh there's one advance and you do that and you know that it'll be it'll be fine whereas in this game you know attacking a defensive fortified position is never a good idea there is normally always another way to go around and kind of approach it so what I'm thinking of doing by just looking at this map is there's a lot of ground over here which we can kind of use. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and spread like one, maybe one and a half divisions round this side and just swoop in and then assault from the back here. Because again, they have all of this cover with the trees, which is going to hurt us. We can maybe take a bit of these trees here and help shoot in. But besides that, we're kind of in a pretty sticky situation. Same over here as well. We have some trees and some little defense here, but not really a lot. So I'm going to send maybe maybe one and a half divisions around here, which we'll, we'll set up now. The cannon can all just sit here because I think the cannon's going to be really important for our, for our victory. So let's just set up the whole of first here. Right there. Then we'll have uh, second. The cannon again can just be situated here. Uh, we'll just line it up in a second when we start the battle. Uh, we'll send some of... Who do we want to send? Let's send... Yeah, let's send these guys there. Then we'll send the, the whole of third, I think, down this right flank. And then we'll send the remnants of... Uh, yeah, we'll send the remnants of these guys there. And we'll also send the cavalry down that flank as well. So yeah, and we'll, then we'll send the rest of... 
second right there. Cool. So let's start the battle. Let's pause it because we obviously don't want to lose any time. We only have two hours by the looks of it to capture this. And in these smaller missions, that's normally how long you actually are given. Um, so we do want to be very careful there. Let's move up these guys just a little bit into you know a more fortified position with the cannons. We don't want to kill anyone. Uh, so yeah, let's take the whole of the second which we were going to set up here and set them up there i also noticed as well that they actually have a, a division kind of order you can give to the enemy so you can set up ai commands for like defensive positions so if i wanted to i could set up a defensive position there and everyone would then move and hold that position and it's also the same with an offensive you can give an offenses order and they'll kind of attack that as a division that's really cool especially in these bigger battles i think that's a really neat thing to to occur so i think all of these guys will just advance uh, pretty far over because I want the one unit we have right here. What was the one I was going to send? I think I was going to send this one. No, the 9th Irish, I think. So let's move the 51st Ohio. They're instantly going to cross that river and then we'll send these guys uh, along here. I think that's fine there. And then we'll send up the whole of these guys like so. And then these guys up like so as well. The general will be there. Supplies will be there. Cavalry, I guess, will just shift all the way along there. Cool, let's start the battle and advance our forces. Ideally, we want our cannons to be in position as soon as possible. I do want to move these cannons over just a little bit. And move up the, the heavy thunder. Because the heavy thunder has the most cannons. Uh, out of everyone I believe yeah, they have 20 guns whereas these guys only have 10 even though they do do a bit more damage and obviously we have the ironclads as well so we really realistically we do want to scout them out fairly quickly uh, but by the looks of it we don't actually probably want to cross that let's just cross here then I'd much rather be this side of a river because it'll probably speed up our time and by the looks of it there aren't too many enemies here advance the skirmishes as well we'll advance the skirmishes into this woodland area Nice. Uh, oh, beautiful. Look at that cannon fire just peppering in. We have the, the ironclad shooting with the support of our own artillery. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, nice. Infantry right there. I think ideally I want to be taking out their, their infantry. Or maybe their artillery would be a good idea to kill first. This cavalry is, is giving us a great advance with their... Yeah, oh, that, that artillery is going to hurt a little bit. Move, move up these guys just a little bit. I will probably will detach. Uh, oh no, we want to move up the cannon. Cannon can stay perfectly fine. Yeah, let's just focus on the cannon actually then. Skirmishes have moved up. Infantry have moved up. That's good. God, this is going to be a difficult battle. Because yeah, as you can see, we are, we are pretty heavily outnumbered right now. Pretty heavily outnumbered. But most of it, our, our maths were a little bit off. Our you know, reconnaissance wasn't completely true. We thought they had about a thousand more men than they do. So seeing that they don't have as many men as they said they had, it does kind of put a smile on my face. But still, attacking this defensive position is going to be brutal. Like, I just don't see how we win this, if I'm honest. I, I really don't. If we can, use these skirmishers to obviously use their long range and start picking away at their position there. Because, like, obviously we surround the position, but... I mean, we're obviously taking huge casualties already. I guess these guys just continue to advance like so. Cavalry keep moving round. Uh, these guys should not be... What are you guys doing? I need to obviously also check that as well. Oh, the skirmish is up here. It's good to see. So I'm going to send the 59th New Yorker to form up there. I don't really want the, uh, the ironclad to be, to be shooting back. I want the ironclad to be shooting their artillery. Oh, they've got cavalry of their own. I don't want it. Oh, yeah. I definitely don't want to engage that cavalry, Ben. Yeah, they're charging me. Fuck, they're charging me. We're not going to win that. Run if you can. They, oh, they got rear flanked. No, it's so bad. Just get out of there. Try and survive. Yeah, let's move the 51st Ohio into this woodland. Because we, we're actually going to run into that woodland. And I guess we'll advance the rest of these guys as well. Fuck, we got pushed back there. That's bad. Losing our horses already. Oh, God, what the fuck? They charged me. Oh, my Lord. That completely took me off guard. Shoot the cannon. If we can route that cannon early on, that's going to be good. But, my God, I was not expecting that. I mean, they're obviously going to be taking a, a lot of enemy fire now. Yeah, we killed a lot of them there. We want to change this cannon then. We want to route these guys back. Nice. We pushed back from skirmishes. Routed the cannon, which is huge, I think. Move the cavalry back. Move the cavalry. Move the, yeah, the 20th main can go over there. And I guess we want to start you know, getting into these, these woodland places, but we do have no vision of any of their forces. Yeah, nice. We did push them back, but we did lose our skirmishes as well. That was really smart by the AI there. Really smart by the AI. 20th main, yeah, just open up on the enemy. Some more skirmishes there, which we will deal with. 
Can we just sneak in across the river here? Third third box would be the best unit to sneak into the river as well. But I mean, we're not coming across any units right now. We'll continue just to shoot their cavalry. If we can get rid of their cavalry as well, that'll be perfect. You guys move around there now then. You guys move up there. I guess we'll, we'll bring up these guys as well. With the cannon still shooting, whatever, whatever it can shoot at. Cavalry is getting wrecked now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Some guys there. So nice. Attacking from this position does seem to be like a, a good, efficient way. We want no, we don't want to charge them. We just want to turn around and shoot the cavalry. So yeah, these these guys holding back here are going to be taking huge casualties. But if we can get into the forest, I think that'll be massive for us. Nice. Routing their cavalry is going to be massive. Any of you guys got a volley in you? They do indeed. So we're going to be killing as many as we can and then advancing around here. Same with these guys. Let our cavalry kind of deal with them now. You guys should be shooting there. No, don't charge. Just shoot. Don't charge, please. We need to move our general up as well. I think our general is going to be needed on this right flank. And I think we're going to use our cannon just to, to focus down this big blob here. Nice. The 34 bucks are in here now. This does give them a huge cover bonus, which is perfect. You guys need to move up here as well. You guys are, are marching around the back of here. Good. If you can, try all oh, the skirmishes. We want to deal with the skirmishes first. You guys just charge them. They got, a, they got a big side of their soldiers out here as well. I want to kind of just hold them in place here. I don't really feel too confident about pushing them. Ohio is going to move up here as well. Because, yeah, ideally we just want to get into the forest. The forest provides us with such huge uh, bonuses. Well, that cannon fire was pretty brutal. Our general being here is probably the best thing we could have happen. I don't know what you guys are really shooting at. Our cavalry is cleaning up their cavalry, though. Just get into the woods if you can. Getting into the woods is just so important. I mean, we only have an hour left to take the position as well. Route them from this. How are the cannons doing? The cannons really aren't racking up too many kills either. I think it's going to come to a point where we're just going to have to charge them. But I mean, getting into the woods is just our first major goal. Because in the woods, we have the same cover bonus as them. Which you can see our cover is going directly back up. So just shoot them there. We keep on moving around the flank. Our cavalry, I really want our cavalry to stop chasing them as well because I'd love to take out these cannons. Because for now, the 20th main is just going to have to turn and shoot these guys as they push out. Balance of power-wise, how are we doing? They still outnumber us, but we've def we're definitely killing more than we're losing. Oh, the cavalry is going to rout soon. Nice, our cavalry completely finished theirs off. Our cavalry is routing, but the sooner we can get it back, the better. Uh, how are you guys looking on supplies? Supplies should probably be pushed up. Dreadnoughts need to keep... I mean, Dreadnoughts, the, the artillery needs to keep on shooting. 20th main, nice. Route them off the field. Their morale is hopefully lack, uh, lacking a little bit. Cavalry can come round. If we can charge this artillery position, that would be perfect. The elbow looks like it's sending some more units over, which could be a perfect opportunity for these guys to move off. But at the moment, they're just taking pot shots off. I think we kind of have the, the range advantage with our, our Lorenzas. I think the Lorenz rifle actually does have the best best range. Oh no, it doesn't. The, the ones that these guys have actually do. Okay, cavalry, get over here. Nice. We're actually pushing them back. Wow. Coming around this flank. This is why I love this game so much. Terrain was so important in this battle. If we were to literally just completely ignore that terrain and uh, just charge up the, the hill, or even probably just, you know, more, more effectively assault around here, we probably would have got cut up. But because we have, you know, a really good advantage, we want to charge with our cavalry here. Because there's a lot of room here for us to come round and a lot of space, that really opened up, you know, a lot of room for us. Oh, who got, who got wounded? Oh, the 20th main guy got... Wounded? No, he didn't. He did get wounded. Cav cavalry, please just get on them. We need to push in now. Get closer. A lot of these units can now move in a bit more. Yeah, nice. They're going to overwhelm them, which is perfect. You guys get a bit closer there. If we go into melee, I'm actually okay with that, I think. Cannons just keep on opening up on their positions here. I think now is time. Yeah, they're, they're kind of reforming a lot. So if we can get into the woods here, that will also be very good. Cavalry can steal their supplies as well. Our soldiers are exhausted. Oh, the 59th New Yorker. Nice. We stole their supplies. Good. Let's get that, them bad boys back. Get our cavalry out of there, though. We don't want to be obviously stuck in a, in a missile fight.
You guys just focus down their units here. No, don't charge, just shoot. Don't charge, just shoot. Don't charge, just shoot. Sometimes this, this game... Okay, cool. maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Wow, this is going to be hard for us. But I mean, we are holding up two pretty big... Pretty big units. Yeah, three pretty big units. If we can break these guys, okay. You, you guys focus down that for sure. Cannon fire is focusing down that already. General needs to move up and help out. We still have a cavalry as well. They obviously have a position here. I mean, we're doing a very good job surrounding these guys here. That's perfect. Just keep up the morale. We're starting to break back them back a little bit. Getting closer. We have 43 minutes. We need these guys to hold. I think what we're going to do is we're going to fall back after this shot with both of these guys. Because we're making beautiful progress here. Nice. We managed to push in here again. Let's continue to advance across this riverbed. 35 bucks need to be here, I think. They've got another unit here as well, though. They just have so many men. They really do. Okay, you guys need to come back now. I can't kind of leave you guys that much room. You guys move up now. Yeah, we just need our units to move up and just to keep on pu pushing down. We need to push down Jackson. We need to push him off the hill. You guys can hold up there. You're in pretty bad cover, but it's kind of going to need to happen. Yeah, Jackson's going to get pushed back. That's perfect. We can push him across the riverbank. Because all we need to do is hold this position or at least uh, stop the enemy from holding it. It's kind of hard to, to form these guys up now. We have a lot of units here. So I guess the 20th main can kind of make their way a bit across the river. Yeah, you can see our huge advance here. The 35 bucks should be up here as well. Uh, you know, as, as soon as they can. You guys all shoot that one unit out in the open. Nice. We are pushing them back. My god, I can't believe we're kind of getting victory here. I didn't think we would be able to push them back here. We haven't obviously got victory yet. But we're definitely pushing them back. We've contested the hill. We want to try and cross this river whilst we can. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Because I want to obviously push, push the hurt in the enemy now. We've secured it. Amazing. That's so good. I'm going to let the 59th New Yorker kind of take a breather for now. I don't I, like. I want to use my more strengthy units because it's cheaper to get, uh, to get men that way. We definitely lost a decent amount of men, but we've definitely caused the enemy a lot of casualties. And now all we have to do is just hold this position for another 20 minutes. That's fine. Because if we click on the border, we have... If we click on the objectives, we hold everything. So we don't really have to commit everyone now. We literally just have to hold this position. We can come in and just harass with our with our guns. We have some, uh, some rifles we can shoot out, hopefully. No, they're going to charge in. They have guns. I don't understand why they're not using them. Obviously, all our artillery can just shoot. Obviously, seeing their supplies as well was pretty big. I mean, just holding these woodland uh, areas is fine with me. Keeping everyone else alive. You guys are exhausted. I mean, just hold up there. We can send the bucks around, maybe. Same with these guys, because we might as well... Because they'll be focusing elsewhere. So just shooting. Oh, they do actually have some cannon here as well. The cannon's actually going to be pretty scary. Cannon's just shot in the woods. Luckily, we have a huge amount of cover. Get some supply up here as well. Not that we really need it because it's such a small battle. But yeah, we're, by the looks of it, we are going to be victorious. Wow. Did not expect that. Cannon is moving forward where it can. I mean, just, yeah, obviously focus down. Hopefully, the ironclads are still supporting us as well. Banzer power is slowly starting to shift in my favor, I think. Yeah, we do actually outnumber them. Definitely on gun-wise, we have a lot more cannon, which we have to be using to our advantage. These guys, the 20th men, are exhausted. That's definitely to be expected. But, I mean, they're starting to get a lot of kills against the enemy. A lot of kills. We might, we, I mean, like, we might as well start moving up as many units as possible. And there we go. Victory was ours. Awesome. There wasn't even an objective to, like, carry on the battle. It just ended. That's kind of surprising. So we lost 2,300 men, which is actually pretty good. That's going to be not expensive to, to... Well, it's going to be kind of expensive to resupply, but not too bad. Like, we have the money to do that and maybe get a few more units. We met all the goals. Kill-wise, uh, 900 kills there. On the 20th May, they were really the MVPs. The Irish are always doing really good. The, the 9th Irish Volunteers, I've, I've definitely seen being up there. The, the Iron Brigade are doing an amazing job. Again, everyone else doing pretty good. So I think, like, we got pretty lucky there. I think we got pretty lucky in that battle. Because I think if we would have gone any way other, uh, any other way than pushing down that right flank and into the forest that way, we would have got slaughtered. Because even on this, this well, on the left flank, sorry. Because even on the right flank, where we, we're, we're looking at right now, 
They have a lot of this woodland where they can shoot us from whilst we're trying to outflank them. However, over here, like, we're, there's a lot of ground we can kind of advance and they can't really stop us from doing that without getting out of the woods. So, overall, a pretty good thing. We managed to, to secure a lot, of these, uh, a lot of these supplies, a lot of guns. That's perfect. Uh, Officer-wise as well, I leveled up as well. I'm now a Major General, which we always like to see. Should be able to hopefully offer an entire another thing, an entire another medal. Oh, we got a medal. War Service Medal. Perfect. We exchanged 20 prisoners for some more recruits. That's good with me. Some more reputation. Okay, hot damn. So we did actually lose the entire Skirmisher unit. I might just give up the Skirmisher unit, though, because I, I haven't really found much need for them. Oh, that's a shame. The 59th New Yorker General actually died. Well, I think he just got wounded, if I'm honest. But, I mean, we'll stick in another Brigadier General. It's definitely worth the money. Uh, they're so close to being upgraded as well. Oh, so close to being rank 3. Did anyone else get to rank 3? I don't think they did. Uh, I think having more supplies there is fine. Cavalry upgraded, which is cool. What's this? Efficiency and speed and stamina, movement speed. Yeah, having better speed, I think, is pretty good. We have another point now. I think I'm going to stick it in Army Logistics. Because that now allows us to get another set of men, which I think we'll spend all our money in, is just completely upgrading this. So first off, I want to see roughly how many men they have at Gaines Mill. Just so I know, kind of, if I want to get more infantry. Oh, look at this. So we can definitely... Oh, we're nowhere near. We're literally nowhere near the amount of men we need. So we have 9,000 more men. And I think we're attacking. No, we're defending at the moment. Yeah, I think we're attacking. I'm definitely going to have to read up on this battle. Uh, please feel free to educate me in the comments as well on this. I'm, I always love reading more history. Oh, yeah. I also leveled up as well. So what do I want? I don't want cavalry. I think I just want infantry, right? Melee, firearms, and slow reloading time. Yeah, I think we just want infantry specialization. That's going to make all our infantry just a little bit better. I mean, look at the, the eliteness of this. these first couple of units. If only only I got like a few more kills and they upgraded, that would have been so perfect. Um, we obviously want to probably give Brigadier Generals into these units as well. We actually do have a Brigadier General right here we could use. Um, so I think what we do is we just get some more infantry. 2,000 war recruits, unfortunately. But I think it's needed with all of these guys. And then same over here. Just raw recruits. They're all going to be given the, the most basic rifles as well, which isn't going to be great. But I think we just need men at this point. So obviously we'll, we'll upgrade all these guys veteran-wise. This is going to be what costs us the most money. I definitely want these guys all at full strength. So I'm more than happy just to, to pay for it. It's expensive, but, you know, having these guys up at full strength is so important. It does also mean we need some more names as well, so feel free to drop the names down below. Luckily, 2nd Division barely lost any men, which is good. We can put pretty much all of these guys back up to full strength with veterans. Ninth Irish... I feel like we, we, did, we can just do that. We'll save us a bit of money. Obviously, we have to buy a few more rifles. But we don't really lose too much. And I think we still have 23 grand left to buy some more men. Because we definitely, definitely need them right now. And I think over here... Did we just get... Did we just get an entire... Hmm. We could just get another cannon. I think we get more cannon, I think, if I'm honest. I don't think we want them. Do we have any in shop? We have 12. We have 15 Napoleons. We have a lot of these as well. We have a reload expedition rifle cannon. What's the difference between a rifle cannon and that? Is this, is this better at taking out infantry? Because these are like rifle cannons, right? Extreme firing range and efficiency. Oh, these are actually fucking amazing. Wow. We don't even have enough of these in the shop. So I guess we'll get just pick up these, maybe? Oh, so these are more for taking out long-range artillery. That's cool, but they're, they're better at taking out artillery. I think we'll just pick up some of these, I guess. Because they're a rifle cannon. Um, they're 10-pounders, so we'll just pick up a decent amount of them. Not as many as I, as I selected, though. Just like 10. We'll take up them, and we'll, we'll grab, up the, grab them. Because, you know, it's not super expensive. It does still mean we can pad out second core a little bit. But we're going to have a lot of fresh men in this. I think we'll just do 1,500. No, uh, no, fuck it. We'll just do 2,000. And all of these guys can go up to 2,000, I think. Yes, sir. Just to give us more men. I oh, know you guys are veterans. 
We don't even have the money to do that. Wow. We do have our credits, though, which we probably want to use. Probably for manpower, I think. There's something else we really want to do, so we'll get money. But cool, this will all be for next episode. Next episode should be Gains Mill. I'm super excited for it. Hopefully, you guys are excited for it as well as we push on. You know, the Invasion Army raids Confederate lands near Richmond. You are defending the right... Oh, okay. So, we're, we're defending. We're not actually fighting at the Battle of Richmond. We're, we're actually defending the right flank of the Union Army versus an over-aggressive tactic of General Lee. Lee's army uh, aims to gain the tactical superiority and forces us to withdraw from the field. Okay, that's, that's very interesting that, you know, he's done that. That he's pushed out against us. That's cool. It's a lot of money, a lot of reputation to take. So we'll, we'll pick up the money, probably pad out the rest of our armies a little bit with, uh, with a few more men. And then push on. So yeah, make sure to give me names in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.